Hi, this is Alexis Chesney. Welcome to this special interview with Dr. Jeff Wolfman, where we'll explore the fascinating world of Centropics cloud technology and its clinical applications. Dr. Wolfman is a beloved friend and colleague of mine. He is going to tell us about this powerful PEMF technology today. As a naturopathic physician serving chronically ill patients, I am committed to continually educating myself on new concepts, diagnoses, and therapies. A core belief in naturopathic medicine is the body's innate power to heal, and I strive to support that healing process. Today we'll dive in to how the Centropics cloud taps into the body's electromagnetic field to promote healing, a concept that aligns with my growing interest in quantum physics. Join us as we explore this exciting intersection of advanced technology and natural health with Dr. Jeff Wolfman. Dr. Wolfman, welcome. Thank you, Alexis. That was awesome. And I, I love that you, because I, as a, as a functional medicine root cause family physician, I also share that, that uh, belief that of, you know, getting to the root cause of things, but also the innate power of the body to heal. And I love that you said that because that word power the, is critical and it's related to everything else we're going to talk about because the body actually knows what to do. It's trying very hard to do it, but it has to have power in order to do it. And so that's what actually part of what led me to this uh, technology was um, what I feel is a missing piece, particularly in the chronic uh, chronic illness uh, community, is that um, is the power piece, and I'll go more into that. So, as a class of technology, uh, the cloud is a mat, and it technically is a PEMF uh, mat. Call, which stands for pulsed electromagnetic field. And some of you may be already familiar with that, but some may be new to it. And the best simple analogy that I can give is uh, you have a, a cell phone. It has software and instructions and all kinds of capabilities, and you can tell it what to do and do all kinds of things, but it has to have power to do it. It has to have charge in order to carry out those instructions and do them well. So one of the ways you make sure that that has power is, you know, there are wireless chargers. So you take the cell phone and you lay it on top of a wireless charger. There's no wires connecting. And that wireless charger passes a pulsed electromagnetic field through the battery. Mm. It excites the electrons and raises the potential. So mm -hmm. the phone is then sitting there with this potential. And then you tell it to do things. And it has the power to actually do it. So in a very basic sense, that is part of what PEMF is doing. It's energy transfer. It's bioelectromagnetic or electromagnetic energy transferring from the mat. So you lay on it and there's a pulsed field running through and your body is in that field and it raises the ener energy potential at the molecular level. So now you have fully charged batteries and the body can then detox, deal with microbes, do what the immune system is trying to do, repair tissue, regenerate, whatever needs to happen that it's trying to do. But if the batteries are, you know, low or partial, the body has to prioritize, well, I can only, I can only do this. I can't really detox. I can't really deal with this micro or this parasite because it's just, just no, no energy left for it. So in a nutshell, that's what PEMF does. It has been around for 50 years in very basic forms. And I was aware of it for years. Like you, I've always been on the lookout for new things that can help people to thrive and heal. And I knew it had potential, but it, it did not seem sophisticated enough for me until this next generation of technology. And actually, the cloud is a whole new class called PEMA, Pulsed Electromagnetic Activation. Mm -hmm. And the reason is, is that finally, the signal has become ultra- complex. So most PMF is a very narrow, basic signal. It does stuff, but but minimally or a small amount. And yes, it leads to effects, but they weren't they weren't um dramatic enough for, for me and consistent enough for me to start to start using. 
the cloud came out about three years ago. It's uh, it was designed in Germany. It's manufactured in Switzerland, and it's the world's first ultra broadband signal. So most PMF, it's like it's like three two piano keys make a noise, and the, and the cloud is a is a thirty piece orchestra. So because every molecule has a resonant frequency, if you're only hitting the ones in here, you're only activating a small number, and the cloud has this ultra broadband signal. And that leads to results like you. I'm outcome. I'm outcome based. Like, okay, great, 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 great. We've heard we've heard all kinds of stuff, right? But does it help people to get better? Mm-hmm. That's really where the rubber meets the road. Mm-hmm. And I love that this um, this doesn't force the body to do anything. A lot of the interventions we do, you know, or try sometimes trying to force. It actually just provides provides the potential for the body to do it. Yeah, thank you. I love I love your analogy to the the phone battery. <laughs> it's very yeah. relatable. And, yeah, the other one that I think is like if you want to build a house, you yeah. have the blueprints, you've got all the materials laying out in the yard, and then you got power tools, but their batteries are at eight percent. Oh. And you have all the workmen and who oh. know what to do, but they you just can't do it because there's just not there's just not enough power to like drill and hammer and, and right, saw. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And like in our work also like in the past for you and what I do now, you know, you might have the supplements, you might have um, the sleep or, you know, good diet, et cetera, all the stuff that we talk about with patients all the time. But yeah, if that battery is drained, this is just such a, a, it's a newer paradigm for me. So it's just a really, really interesting, really great way to look at it. Yeah, it is for me. And, And really like what drives a lot of, you know, changes in discovery, I know for you, you know, because we, we've interacted over the years and then myself is is just like frustration with why, you know, sometimes I have, what, what else can we do to help this person shift? Mm-hmm. And I feel we've really almost maxed out the supplement realm, the biochemistry realm, all the sophisticated, wonderful herbs and nutrients and this and that. They're great, but you can take all that. And if you don't have the molecular charge you can't take all those wonderful supplements and actually absorb them, use them, assimilate them and get them to do what they want to do. And that's, that's what, um, you know, because I had a hard time initially, like, how can this lead to these kinds of outcomes? Like someone laying here and yes, the signal's going through, how can that lead to, it's because it's dominant, it's a domino effect. Like this is the ground, at which all the other things happen all the biochemistry and the physiology and the repair and all that starts with energy. Right. In a way, it's like, this has to come first. Exactly. You know, we we kind of have it a little backwards. It. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's to me, yeah. it's like, it's a foundation that you build everything else on top of and it makes everything else much more effective, which I love. I, I know, um, you know, for me, 30 years and this, like, the it's getting harder and harder and has gotten harder and harder to help people actually move the needle on their wellness over time. Um, it hasn't gotten easier. Like 15 years ago, people used to respond a lot better in general. Um, so, so we need all the help, all the help we can, can get. And this is a missing piece. And it's why I'm passionate about it because I used to, you know, struggle so much trying to help people improve. And, and, uh, yeah, this is something that was ignored. Yeah, and that's how we met. So um, you were a mentor of mine regarding Lyme and tick-borne disease. Yeah. Uh, we were both in Vermont, and uh, you'd been working with patients for many years. And then I came on the scene and was seeing just how, how much of an issue Lyme was in that area. And it was great to uh, learn from you and collaborate with you. Yeah. And um, so we, we understand <laughs> each other in that way of like, sure. how hard it can be. Mm-hmm. And it's amazing to see people get better. Um, and also it, it's challenging to see people work so hard at, you know, having the discipline to take the medications or supplements and, you know, get the other, other therapies and the physical therapy yeah. and yeah. et cetera, et cetera. Right. And yeah. sometimes, you know, struggle, uh, getting better. So I'm yes. excited about this new technology. Yeah. So yeah, maybe, um, more on that clinical note, if you could share some experiences you've had with patients and this technology and what you've seen. Yeah. So it, like in my own, I, I used it myself first for two months before, well, I researched it for a long time and then I decided to, to get it. And then I used it for two months myself before I recommended it to anybody. 
and I found I'm pretty healthy, but I had some fatigue issues and a little achiness stuff and vulnerabilities if I didn't get like enough sleep and I needed a lot of sleep. Uh, and so with regular use, I found that my energy levels have just gone up and I'd done all the mitochondrial things, the mm -hmm. detox things, the cold showers and the saunas and the intermittent fasting and the this and this and this sleeping tons. And there was a ceiling at which I just could not get beyond. I wanted a greater level of vitality. And I had done all the stuff, done microbe things and all that. So when I started using this on a regular basis, my vitality just started ratcheting up. And if I stop using it, it starts yeah. gradually coming back down again. Mm -hmm. And and which is which is, you know, indicator of just what I was talking about. The issue wasn't that I wasn't because I'm very well versed in, you know, supplement support and all that stuff. But it couldn't get me, it couldn't go past a certain level. It was actually, it was actually energetic and I needed the energy at the core. So that's what I've seen in myself. And then with clients, um, you know, one of the things we struggle with in this world and a lot of your, your patients do and is, is plateaus, people, you know, improve to a certain point and then they, then they just, they just flatline and stop mm. improving or they relapse um, or it's a super sluggish response. And then you try changing this and you try adding that. And it's just like, oh. so when I, combine this with those supplement based regimens, I see several things. One is um, they respond twice as fast. So mm -hmm. what used to take six months, because you know, you see someone and like, this is going to be about six months before they, it, it's, I'm seeing it dropped in half. Mm -hmm. uh, if they flare, it's much milder and like they herx or things like that. They're able to process that a lot better. And people who have plateaued, I had a long, long-term client. Um, I'd done everything I knew to do. And then she saw a couple other people and they did everything. And she was on a bunch of stuff and just, just, just flat for years. Mm -hmm. And when I first learned about this, I, I contacted her and said, why don't, look, I think there's something here. Why don't you just try, don't change anything. Just add this, keep your supplement regimen the same. Just bring this in. And she did, and then all of a sudden started started going again. Hmm. When she had flat, she had been flat for a long time. Hmm. And so the issue was energy. It wasn't the wrong mix of supplements and so forth. It was it was an energy thing. Right. So yeah, after you, learning, uh, I mean, knowing her for so long, that must have been incredible to see. Yeah, it yeah. was humbling. You know, <laughs> always always yeah. getting humbled. <laughs> But I, it really got me excited and seeing these kinds of things happen several times. I'm like, ah, people need to know this because this is this is a foundation. It's like trying to drive your car across the country in a half tank of gas. Like you, 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 you got to have the, the, the energy for that. So this is a, a um, low intensity PEMF. So there are high intensity units, like very high pow, 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 and. Uh, narrow spectrum. That's a different class. This is low intensity and high complexity. And the the other thing that I really like about it is it is um, it's wireless, portable, foldable. So you can you can fold it up. We take it with us wherever we travel. Um, it uh, I can run it off an app. I can run it on the punch pad. So in terms of convenience, because that's you know if something is very complicated and bulky and difficult, it's people are less likely to use it. So it's super super simple from that standpoint. But mm -hmm. the main thing that I, you know, that I think is important to transmit to the listeners is, and I hear this all the time. Uh, if I bring this up or talk about it, oh, I've I've heard of PMF or I tried quote PMF or mm -hmm, oh yeah PMF mm -hmm. this or my doctor has quote PMF. That's like saying I tried I tried supplements and they took you know CoQ10 from Costco and they're saying oh I tried it, it didn't work. You know, yeah. it's it's like it's a it's a t every one is different, totally complex. Could be something super simple and super basic to very complex. So that's the first thing. Quote PMF is not quote PMF. They're all different. And this one stands out because of what I said. It is the only one in the world that has an ultra broadband signal. So where that plays out is in a 15 minute session. So all the sessions are 15 minutes. Um, you start it, it runs for 15 minutes and shuts off. There are 
23 million impulses that run through the body in 15 minutes. Wow. The the other product in the country that is the the other most complex only does 400,000 impulses in 15 minutes. So so it, this gives 50 times more impulses in one session. Hmm. And so and that translates to more activation and mm -hmm. more effect over time. That's mm -hmm. why it is different. Also, there are five different programs uh, that all have unique um, properties to them, and you can choose those. There's a relax, balance, energize, synchronize, and transform, because they can choose which one for certain scenarios. You can adjust the intensity, so super sensitive people can turn the intensity down and choose one that's a gent more gentle one, um, so it's customizable that way, which is really important because everybody's unique. Sure. Excellent. Well, thanks for going through those specifics as well. Yeah. Um, you know, one thing that's come up a lot is biohacking, right? So I wonder about if you can say more about how the cloud <laughs> works in that way with yeah. that concept. Yeah. Good, good question. And, and um, this is going to be, it already is a buzzword, but it's going to be a super buzzword. Uh, this winter because the largest health documentary ever made is coming out on Amazon uh, in December huh. called biohack yourself. And in episode number one, the cloud mat will be, will be featured. Um, so you, you, Amazing. you, you listen, yeah, listen, really look that. forward to it. So um, biohacking is trying to do in general, it's mostly taking one specific thing and trying to influence the body to go this way or that way. It could be diet things. It could be a single peptide that people take like NAD or something like that. Um, cold plunge, intermittent fasting, different uh, nutrients, um, to, to, you know, light and sound and different things to try and influence the body. So but they're all trying to influence the body to go here, go there, push this reaction, push that reaction. What, you know, this relates to what we talked about before with the cloud to me, it, it is, it's the foundation at which anything else would be laid on top of. So if people are doing some biohacking things or interested in that, again, if you don't have the charged battery, you can't respond adequately to NAD or certain dietary changes or, light or sauna or so forth or laser or whatever it can only go so far if you don't have if you don't have the foundation so i see this as like the base of the pyramid and all other biohacking stacks on top and some people are now starting to use it that way like i have uh colleagues who for instance have hyperbaric chambers mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. they may have red light or they may do intravenous um things in their in their uh office the we just uh, started working with the Swiss Mountain Clinic, and it was, it's a destination clinic. They do a lot of IV, and they have mm. they're getting cloud mats now, mm -hmm. and they do the cloud first, mm. and then they do stack on top of that. So they do the cloud, and then they'll do their IV, or they they do the cloud, then their hyperbaric, or the cloud, and their red light, or their sauna, be, because it's it's the foundation, and that really mm. seems to be uh, magnifying and multiplying uh, the the effects. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, thanks so much for answering. I think some that's a good today. start. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming. To learn more about Centropics Cloud, go to my website, centropics.us slash dr Alexis Chesney. That's C E N T R O P I X dot US slash D-R-A-L-E-X-I-S-C-H-E-S-N-E-Y, or use the link in the notes below. Thank you.